Rob, we've had change of manager, we've had the unveiling of the Fergie statue here. It feels like there's been a lot going on. It's certainly a, a never a dull moment at the, at the club, Rob, that's for sure. Uh, listen, the statue project was fantastic to work on. I think it's been a great success and um, it certainly seems to have resonated with fans right around the world. We've had some lovely correspondence in from people and, uh, you know, we know Sir Alex is, is delighted with it. So, you know, we, we move on from that and, and you know, into uh, a busy you know, couple of weeks. We've obviously got three big crunch games coming up. We've had Jim settling in. Um, we've had our new single sign-on uh, project come to fruition now where fans have got the ability to use one login, you know, for the website, for the retail site, for the ticketing site, um, and for Red TV. So that makes their lives a lot easier. Huge project that took a lot of time and effort right across the club. We've got the Trust-themed uh, uh, match this weekend, um, you know, and then season ticket launch as well. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's been full on, but, you know, fantastic uh, to, to be involved with all of these projects and um, just a really busy time right across the club. So here we are then launching the season ticket sales for next season. What would your main message be, Rob, to fans? Rob, I'd say, you know, as, as we know, season tickets are the, the lifeblood for, for all clubs in Scotland, uh, more so than, you know, most other leagues. Uh, and season tickets really represent um, the best value for money over the course of a season by comparison to, you know, buying match, match to match. You know, for me, after what's certainly been a, a difficult season, I, it feels a little bit like we're pushing the reset button. And I think we need everyone's support now probably more than ever. This has been a season in which we have not met our aspirations. We know we can do better. We can perform at a far, far higher level. And I think, you know, Getting season tickets underway signals the start of that new campaign. Um, we're looking for the fans to back Jim as best as they can um, and for us to really move towards next season with a, a lot of optimism um, you know, and, and, and a good headwind as we get to the new season. Just up from where we're sitting, the, the RDS upper is going to be reopened for season ticket sales. How's that going to work, Rob? So obviously we've seen the introduction of, of the Red Shed over the last couple of seasons and that's presented us with a couple of things that we need to think carefully about in the lower bowl of the stadium. Um, you know, we'd had thoughts to keep the, the upper closed, but it's gained in, in real popularity across um, Don's Day Out users, across our Aberdeen A uh, junior program as well. So we've seen lots of families, lots of groups wanting to go and sit up there and enjoy the experience and atmosphere. So we'll certainly be opening that, making that a, a, an option for people to consider from a season ticket perspective going to be decorating it in the off-season um, to make it a little bit more family-friendly um, and create a far more engaging environment. So I think a, a really positive step forward and, and an area and a space that will appeal you know, to families uh, and to groups who want to come in and, and enjoy a day out at Pataudry. What is the thinking that goes into season ticket pricing? Well, we get together as a group, you know, um, every every couple of months to, to review where we are from a season ticket perspective and then get down to the planning for the new season. For us, you know, we, we look back at, at how season tickets have been priced in, in previous years. And if you look back four or five seasons, our season, pri our season ticket prices have largely remained flat. Um, in fact, if you go back to the 2019-20 season, by comparison to this season, average season ticket prices were, were 20 pounds higher on average. So... You know, we, we're very conscious of some of the challenges that fans are facing um, in terms of, you know, inflation, um, all of the different increases that we've seen in food and, and various other things. So for us, it was really important to implement a price freeze. And we're going to do that for the first month. Um, we'll then have an early bird window and then move to our standard pricing. And that standard pricing window will see a 5% increase um, in some categories, but certainly not right across the board. And uh, I, you know, I think that's about as fair as we can make it, given some of the challenges that we face as a club. We've had the, the knock-on impact of COVID to deal with as well. And we're seeing a, a, a vast array of things like energy prices are going up 60% to Pataudry. We're seeing food prices being passed on to us of between 5 and 12%. So some significant increases. So we've got to be sure that we can try and balance the books in the right way. Um, but we're also, as I say, very conscious of... of um, some of the challenges that the fans are facing. So that price freeze window for us is, is really important as well. There's clearly a real intent here to grow the fan base, particularly among young supporters. What are the incentives for them? 
Well, Rob, it's been interesting to see, you know, we've got the highest number of under 18s as season ticket holders um, that we've ever had. Um, and that's in fact brought the average age of our season ticket uh, holder down from 45 years to 42. So certainly moving in the, in the right direction. Um, we've seen fantastic growth in DNA Junior, um, in um, our under 18s and under 12s coming to games as well. So, you know, we've kept prices at the right level, um, offered some fantastic discounts. I mean, I don't know where um, you might be able to get in as an under 18 into what we class as a silver, a silver area at the club for £65 for the whole season. So there's some real incentives for, for um, you know, younger fans to come and enjoy themselves. We've talked about the changes we're going to make to the upper RDS to create more of that family and, and that younger environment as well. And I think it's really important. We, we position ourselves as a family club. Um, and so for us to drive home that message and bring in that younger audience for us is, is really important. Down at the other end of the ground, the red shed has made a, a massive impact, hasn't it? And I know that you've got discussions planned to make some improvements in that area? Listen, the red shed is, is I think, the envy of many clubs in Scotland. Um, I think the atmosphere and the, the kind of vibrant nature that it, it, it brings to Pataudry uh, and the noise and the colour has, has been a real revelation. You know, four or five years ago, I came here and it was, things were really quite quiet in the stadium. You could hear a pin drop at times and um, I think it's made a significant difference. So we want to continue to build and grow on um, all of the inroads that we've made with the Red Shed. Um, there have been a couple of meetings already. There'll be a few more, particularly in the off season as we, season as we build towards 22-23. Uh, I think for us, it's, uh, it's a critical part of what we do in terms of the match day atmosphere. It adds such... Um, uh, a, a great feeling when you're here. I think the players thrive off what they see and, and hear coming from the Red Shed. So we want to encourage and, and grow that as much as we can. We know that there are things that we can do better uh, as a club um, and we need the fans to play their part in terms of you know, how that needs to operate. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's an integral part of, of the match day experience. Um, and uh, you know, I think some people wonder why the shed perhaps sometimes at times isn't in, completely full. We've got some, some challenges um, around uh, the space that's available. We've got unallocated seating, um, which was a request to us from the fans. Um, but with that comes a reduction in capacity. So we've got to keep some space on either side of the, of the shed free. Um, there's still some space uh, for people to buy season tickets for next season. But um, I think we'll see a, a full red shed in, in, in full voice next season. You've already touched on the fact that these are really tough times for, for everyone, including the football club. But how can you help with season tickets? So for us, the price freeze window is a really important part of the strategy for the season, season, uh, season ticket marketing campaign. What we're going to do is hold prices for a month um, so that people are paying no more than they did last season. For us, that's really important. Look, at the end of the day, Rob, we know the product on the park wasn't what it should have been this season. And some people might be shouting for you know, um, reductions in season tickets. The reality is that's just not going to happen. We, we can't go down that road. We've got to, um, at the very least, hold them at the level they were last season. Um, and as I say, in other areas, there are very modest increases. But the price freeze window is where I'd encourage people to, to, to get involved and, and be able to buy a season ticket at the same price as last season. We've also brought back and, and continued with our V12 finance offering. So fans who would like to pay off their season ticket over either four or six months are able to do so completely interest free. There are longer term options over 10 months that do attract a nominal interest charge. So those sorts of things are available as well. I'd also say to fans who, who aren't yet an ABBA DNA member, think seriously about it because what it does is it brings you a 15% discount off your season ticket price if you were a premium member, plus you get next season's shirt free of charge as part of the deal, plus all the other DNA benefits that go with it as well. And I'd say as well, and you know, some fans perhaps aren't as familiar with my official appointment yet as they should be. This is our business program for local businesses that's helped many businesses get back on track through COVID. And by using some of the special office, offers and discounts and benefits that come through that program, fans we've calculated can save at least 200 pounds a year on things that they do annually, whether that's an MOT or a car service, various other things. So I'd encourage fans to, to go to the website, use that one login that they can use now across all of our platforms and uh, go and see what BOA has to offer because there are a whole range of benefits that will complement um, their season ticket membership as well. It's been a challenging 
season, no doubt, but that period of transition is, I guess, how you would describe things at the moment. But there seems to be overall a really positive feeling, Rob, about Jim Goodwin. I'd, I'd say that, Rob. Um, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to spend a fair bit of time in his company in, in recent weeks at different events and, and, and meetings. He, he has um, a very clear vision of, of what he wants to achieve here. Um, that, that is very clear. But I think also he's, he's been quite blown away by you know, the scale of the club, the scale of the trust and all the good work that it does in the community. But I think the level of resource that he has around him and the, and the wider football operation, I think, has been something that's, that's really impressed him. Um, he said to me just a couple of days ago, he said, you know, his view is all of the parts of the jigsaw puzzle are here. They just need fitting together um, slightly better. And, and, you know, he, he can see that working and, and, and growing um, in the right direction from next season on. So... You know, my, my view is, is, and as we well know, we, we've done quite well out of St. Mirren managers in, in, in years gone by. Um, I, I think Jim will be very successful here. I think with the support that he knows he has from the board, with the backing that he will get from the fans, um, I, you know, I think he's got every opportunity to make a real mark here. And I think we can look forward to next season with some real optimism. You know, it's not been the season that we'd hoped for. Um, but we dust ourselves off when we, we go again. And that, that is football. That is, you know, um, the world we live in. Um, but I think there is every, every reason to be hopeful and positive about next season. It's been far too long um, since we won a cup as a, as a club, um, since we performed quite at the league uh, level that we'd like to see. Um, and so, you know, let's look forward to 22-23 with the optimism you talk about. Down at the far end, apart from the lawnmower uh, in action, uh, the Red Shed has been in action and it's made a massive impact, hasn't it? And, and I know you've got uh, discussions, you've had some more to come about improvements in that area. And of course, Rob, you've sampled it yourself. Yeah, I, you know, I wanted to see what the Red Shed was, was all about myself. Um, I was in there for the St. Johnson game and you know, nothing beats first-hand experience. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, the, the red shed has added a huge amount of value to, to Pataudry. You go back four years and you could hear a pin drop at times in the stadium. And now we've got a vibrant traditional home end with noise and colour and excitement. And I think it's become the envy of, you know, of many clubs in, in Scotland. People look to see what the red shed are doing and you know, follow suit. Um, I think as a club, there are probably some things that we can do better. Um, it's going to need the fans to, to play their part as well. But, uh, you know, we've had some meetings already. There'll be some more to follow in the, in the, in the close season. Uh, but we want the Red Shed to thrive. There's no reason why it can't thrive uh, and become even better than it is already. Um, I think some people maybe question why there's space on either side of the shed. Uh, and they say, you know, uh, it, it's not sold out or it's not packed out. But at the end of the day, we've got unallocated seating in there. We've got a requirement through the safety committee uh, to provide for some space. Um, so that explains that, but there's still an opportunity to buy a season ticket in the, in the red shed for next season, for sure. And uh, we would certainly encourage fans who, who want to enjoy all that the red shed can offer um, to be in there. It's priced very effectively. Um, and, uh, you know, we look forward to meeting with fans in the coming couple of weeks to, to work out what else we can do to, to make it an even better atmosphere.